How's it going guys and girls from the internet? Tyler from TL Videos here and by the time you see this video I will have a haircut and it will be past Thanksgiving. Before Thanksgiving I have some time and I'm making this video because I thought it'd be really fun and so I'm gonna be doing a thing called Will You Press The Button and Will You Press The Button is a website that everyone has been playing it's this like big phenomenon and all these youtubers are playing it and i was watching markiplier play it and i didn't see all of the questions i didn't want to spoil it for myself so i thought i would give it a try so basically what this is is you will get two quest or you'll get two like scenarios you'll have you know you have the before effect so say i get a car but the car will blow up every five seconds. I, I couldn't think of anything. If you agree with it, you'll press the button. If you don't agree, you'll say you will not, as you can see up on the top left. And I'm also on a protein-packed Tyson's ad. But this will also give you some insight into my deepest, darkest desires, because I'm gonna answer as truthfully as possible. Let's get started. So first scenario, you are free to do anything illegal and cannot die until you are a hundred but everyone hates you with no possibility of them ever loving you. I like love. Love is a good thing. I will not press the button. Yeah, 71%. Yeah, bad. Bad one. You and everything you know and or love are immortal and constant, but you can never leave the light. So I'd be a vampire. No, I like being in the dark sometimes. Be like, what, how would you sleep? <laughs> How would you sleep? You'd have the light on you every time you sleep. It'd basically have to be like daytime. No, no, no. Wow, only 43% didn't? Come on. Why? You'd be a vampire pr practically without like all of the awesome effects of a vampire. Bad. <laughs> you become rich and famous, but you change genders. Uh, no, I, I, I'm very content on being a guy. I mean, being rich and famous is cool and all, but I could do that if I work hard while being a guy. I, I won't. Uh, okay, I guess people will switch genders to do that, which is fine. That's fine, that's fine. You can kill any form of life with your simple will, but when you walk, a great pain is felt in your feet for each step. So basically, I have arthritis. Like, really, really bad arthritis. No, I don't like killing anyway. These are some bad ones right now. No. Let's see. 65% didn't. All right, good. You become infinitely rich, globally famous, and immortal, but 90% of the Earth's population suddenly dies. So, was me being rich and globally famous the cause of everyone's death? I just had this huge, just, famousness just wipe out the entire population of the world. Uh, no, I can't. I, I like the earth. I don't want people to die. All right, that's good. Daft Punk is playing at my house. My house! But the entire town is invited and there's free alcohol and drugs for everyone. Oh, God, hope you got insurance. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'll say it's good. Live in the world of GTA 5, but it's an 8-bit. I don't have a PS3 or a PS4 or an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One, and I don't have GTA 5 on my computer, and I've never played GTA 5. And the fact that it's an 8-bit anyway, no. I, I just, I, I've never played GTA, so it wouldn't really matter. You will never get razor burn again, but your hair grows so fast, you have to shave multiple times a day. I already have to shave every day. That's why you guys always see I'm clean shaven. I shaved 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Literally, I shaved 20 minutes ago, and it's like 10 o'clock at night. But if I never get razor burn again, I don't get razor burn, though. I, I'm a good shaver. I'm a good shaver. Don't judge me. You'll be able to change two things you hate about your body, but you'll lose 50 IQ points? So would I rather be more attractive, or would I rather be dumber by being attractive? So it's basically brains versus beauty. I don't know. I kind of want to be, I, I kind of want to maintain my level of intellect right now, especially in broadcasting, because if I lost 50 IQ points and I didn't know anything about technology, like you've seen before, because I mess up everything and it's awful. <clears throat> I want to stay smart. I want to stay smart. I have to stay smart. 
72 percent people are smart are smart did i what did i just say i don't even know how do i even grammar i don't know i don't know oh the ad's gone now oh no it's back <laughs> You can put words on a piece of paper just by looking at it, but the words are printed in Comic Sans. I don't care. You could like look at someone's paper and be like, "Hello," and you could terrify him. Yes, I'll press the button. I don't care. It's I like Comic Sans. Why do people hate Comic Sans so much? You have an invisible eye on your neck and have perfect view in all directions. Your neck looks completely normal, but you can't close your invisible eye. So basically, I would never be able to sleep. <laughs> a video game you love finally gets the sequel it deserves, but you can never play the original game again. Wow. So, let me think of some games that I like that never had sequels. Road Trip. Road Trip was my favorite game ranging from the age of like 7 to 16 because I beat it when I was 16. The game took me forever to beat because it was the most fun game I've ever played. It was this game where you would just, you 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 were a car and you would like drive around and you'd talk to people who were other cars and they would like talk to you by like flashing their lights at you and they'd make these like clicking sounds. And it was an open world game for the PlayStation 2 and you could go anywhere. It was this huge world and it was the most fun I had ever had and it never had a sequel. In fact, I was just looking for a sequel. So I think just because of that and because I beat the first game, I would definitely like a sequel. You get a giant robot, but the robot's original owner wants to kill you and take it back. Well, can it just make the giant robot kill the person that wants to take it back? Unless he has an even bigger robot and he's gonna like smash me to bits and it's gonna have some awesome transformer sequence and stuff, but I, I I'll press the button because I could just make the giant robot kill the original owner. I can I can do that. Wow, that's one that one's even more split than I thought it was. That's a good one. You will meet the person of your dreams and you will both fall in love together, but you'll both die twenty years later being tortured together by a neo Nazi group. I don't want pain. Pain's bad. I'm not pressing this button. Good. That's a really bad one. Justin Bieber dies, Kim Kardashian's tape is never released, Saxton Hale becomes the fourth richest person on the earth, and MLP is removed from existence! No! I like my ponies! But you cannot eat cookies anymore. I don't care. I... Uh, no! I, people hate MLP, but I like MLP. And you guys know this, so... I'm not gonna press this button. Yeah, oh, that's really, really split. People hate MLP. Putting MLP besides just beside Justin Bieber and Kim Kardashian is not that they're not at the standards of it. It's higher. Don't you argue. Don't you argue. Don't you argue! You can see everybody around you. Wait, what? You can see everybody around you's way they'll die. That's very bad grammar in the first place. But you can pass the gift off by saving somebody else's life. So you can see everybody around you's so you you see so you basically what they're I think they're trying to say is you can see how everybody around you will die. But you can pass the gift off by saving somebody's life. So basically you have the ability to know that they're gonna die. Isn't that a good thing? I think they're trying to say that it's a bad thing because if you want to get rid of the gift by saving somebody's life, then you'll give it to someone else. But I guess that's good because then other people will know how everyone else is going to die and then it can like sp spread to different countries like a good disease. That's actually a really interesting concept. I'm going to press the button. 64% press the button. Okay. You could relive any day or night you want, but you would have diarrhea. TMI. That already happens anyway. It happens to all of us. So I would definitely want to relive any day or night I want because I'd be able to go back in time whenever I was a child and relive my childhood and all the awesome things I did and playing Madden and going to the park and doing the chicken dance in the living room with my mom because apparently that's what I really, really like to do and I remember doing it. So yeah, good family memories. Are you kidding me? What? 57% of it happens anyway like and plus they don't specify how long how much the diarrhea would happen if it would happen like in an interval interval of time or if it'd be every day or every hour or every second you just have like this endless stream of 
<laughs> you can have the partner of your dreams, but his or her... Oh, display driver stopped responding. What just happened? I just got a message from that. Okay. There's a 50-50 chance you'll become immortal, but there's a 50-50 chance you'll die immediately. Well, I don't want to be immortal because I want to see family members again that have passed away. And I don't want to die immediately either. So I'm interested to see how many people did not press this button. That's way more, that's way closer than I thought it'd be. Why would you want to risk that? Why would you want to be immortal knowing that your family is going to die and you are going to stay alive and, but there's a 50-50 chance you'll die immediately too. So you won't be able to live your life or you'll live your life forever and never be able to see family ever again. That's, that's my rant for the day. All your dreams will come true no matter how wild it would be, but these dreams always hurt people close to you heavily in the end. Wow. So, all of the dreams that I want to come true, everything that I want to do in the future, would always hurt people close to me. So every football game I would broadcast or every football game I would announce would end up hurting someone close to me? No. No. I wouldn't want that. I already, I'm already able. I'm already pursuing the dreams. My dreams are realistic. It's not... <laughs> at least I hope they are. I think they're realistic. I will not. You can live forever, but you'll become incredibly depressed. Again, I've already stated it before. I don't want to be immortal. Being immortal is a bad thing. People try to go to, for the quest of the Holy Grail and stuff. It's not It's not worth it. Especially, I don't want to be depressed. Being depressed is bad. I always try to have a smile on my face in every single video. I told you my deepest, darkest desires are going to come out of this. You'll be able to fly, but an annoying goose will always follow you when you fly. But what if you make friends with the annoying go goose? Ghost. Go go I'm pressing this button. I want to fly. Flying would be so cool. Yeah, 82% of people know what's up. Oh no. You can kill people by hating them hard enough, but you also kill people by loving them too much. Oh my god. That's such a good one. And I, I love, I love so many people. Like, I am a very loving person. I love my friends more than a person should. I really, really care about people. So I would kill almost everyone close to me because I love them so much. And I wouldn't do that. You can make fictional characters come to life at will as many as you like, as often as you like. They'll only stay for a day. They can be summoned again, but it takes two months before they can return. Yes! Yes, I would do that. Are you kidding me? You'd be able to bring any fictional character you want into the world. I don't care if they could stay for a day. I can wait two months. Just bring every character that you want, take a whole bunch of pictures of them, and then you can just look at the pictures for two months and then bring them back again. That would have so many awesome complications to it. You'd be able to bring Finn and Jake to life. You'd be able to bring My Little Pony to life. You'd be able to bring SpongeBob to life. You'd be able to bring every video game character you want to life. That would be incredible. That's like my dream. I, I've always dreamt that someday people would be able to actually take an electronic like figure and their code and then somehow transfer it into the physical form of the real world i don't care if it's a hologram or anything and but we're getting close to doing it because there are really intelligent robots it's just a matter of putting a cartoon character's mind or a video game character into that physical form i would definitely press this button i don't know who wouldn't press the button 88 percent did there's 12 percent of people who didn't your hopes you just have you have no imagination you have no dreams <laughs> you can turn invisible for 15 minutes every day but every jar you come in contact with <laughs> will be ridiculously hard <laughs> to open oh god i have to put this edit in i have to put it in <laughs> You become a famous athlete in an EA game, but the person who recites EA... No! No, no. 
I love that. That's like my favorite. That's like my favorite quote from my childhood. I played Madden all the time. And every single time Madden came on, I would go, yay sports. It's, it's in, in the game. game. But being realistic, he is going to pass away eventually. And I don't know actually how old he is. I mean, he was doing that quote since I think Madden 2001, I think was the, was it? Was he the voice that, because I know before they actually didn't have his voice specifically. I think it was whenever the PlayStation 2 came out that he started doing that. I'll put that like in like a tiny little thing in the video if I was wrong or not, I don't know. But I'll press it just because I can decide when I become a famous athlete. So whenever he is close to death, I can choose. So it's like a mercy thing. Oh, now here's a question for me. You can take one being from Equestria to the real world, but you're the only one able to see it. God, so I'd be able to take Princess Luna is my favorite, by the way, just so you know. And she's actually on here. Look, I will I'll minimize this screen so you can actually see the wallpaper that I have. Also, Star Wars, because I found this and it's Luna and Star Wars. And I freaking love Star Wars. And Star Wars is coming out in less, I think, less than a month or a month. I don't know. But, oh, that's wrong. So if Luna came into the real world and I was the only one able to see her, people would think I had schizophrenia which is bad, especially because I'd be like freaking out all the time and I'd basically have this imaginary friend that people wouldn't be able to see. So would I want to be able to have like my favorite cartoon character from Equestria come to the real world and people think that I have schizophrenia? Or would I rather not have it and people think, like would I rather stay the same that I am now? I think I would press the button just because yeah, I wouldn't show any of the other symptoms of schizophrenia. So if I had a stable, you know, I had everything stable and I wasn't emotionally like freaking out or anything because there are other symptoms besides just that and schizophrenia, I think I'd be perfectly fine. I just scrolled down to the comments on the bottom of this one and it's nothing but perverts. You acquire the power to read minds at will, but you must say every one of your own thoughts out loud while using it. So you have the power to read minds, but you must say one of your own thoughts while you're using it. You know what, I think I'm going to end the video there before it stops the recording. Do you guys, would you guys have the power to read minds at will? So read anybody's mind and would you sacrifice having to say your own thoughts while you're doing that? Or would you just rather not click the button? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comments what you would do. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, Rohoff, go Seahawks. I have had so much fun doing this. It's really late and I'm tired and I'm kind of irritated that, the, that something with Windows 8 stopped the recording. But I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. It's a lot of fun to reveal to you guys what I think about these scenarios. And it's, it's just so much fun. So again, like and subscribe, Rohoff, go Seahawks. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you <coughs> eventually now that I'm dying. Bye. I had a ton of food. I ate so much food. I just kissed my mic. I had turkey. I had mashed potatoes. I had corn. I had pie. Have you successfully beaten the night guard? He be the night guard. He be the night guard! The night guard? The night guard? Yeah.